cybersecurity versus data engineering. Which one should you do? Why? What are the differences? What are the rewards? What are the benefits? Let's dive in. So at a high level, what cybersecurity is, is you're working in order to avoid malicious attacks, which might involve putting security shields on your infrastructure or security shields in something like cloud and setting up alerts and monitoring in order to ensure that those attacks never happen in the first place. Of course, what you also need to do in cybersecurity is do a bunch of testing so that you can pretend to be the hacker or the attacker so that you can actually make sure that the system is secure. Now, moving over to the data side, the data engineering side, what you are doing is building very scalable data pipelines and scalable cloud infrastructure. What does that mean? If you pull up your DoorDash or Spotify account, whenever you click on something or scroll something, there is data that is getting collected and data that is getting pushed out in order to show you that interface on your phone. However, in order for that to happen, there needs to be scalable data infrastructure underneath so that data can go from place A to B, right? And all that data is collected in the cloud. In terms of tools, with cybersecurity, you're gonna need to know a few main things. Number one, Things like ISO, INST, basically there's your security frameworks and how you should go about securing whatever tech or product that you are working on. A very, very famous security or very famous instance or common instance of cyber security usage is credit cards, right? You need to be extremely secure with how you're collecting payments, how you're sending out payments or sending out invoices and how you're securing data. This is also via something called encryption, right? So when you send data out, you want to make sure that that data is encrypted so that no one can steal it while it is in transit. So when the data is moving, a hacker can just take it along the way. So you encrypt the data, that way even if somebody does take it, they can't do anything with that data. So another skill set that you need to have is understanding how to deal with operating systems such as Linux, Windows, whatever the case is, because the layer that needs to be protected has to be from an operating systems perspective. Again, sounds very technical, but at its foundation, what we are trying to say is that if you are protecting a house, you don't really just protect it from the inside. You also want to protect it from the outside, right? Putting gates around the house, putting cameras that are pointing outwards, looking at the stuff that is going on in front of your front door, basically. And so it is very, very different than just securing the inside of the house or securing the data infrastructure, which we will get to next. Now, how does that translate to data engineering? Well, data engineers are going to work on the infrastructure part of that data. So they are working on things like cloud and data pipelines. With pipelines, what they are worried about is how do we get data from A to B within the company so that companies or other teams inside that company can use that data. So let me give you an example. If I was working at DoorDash, right, and I was working on the uh, payments team, then the team that is building the front part of DoorDash might say, hey, payments team, we need some sort of data infrastructure so that when a customer comes on DoorDash, they can see how much money is still remaining in their account or how much money they've spent the entire year so that we can gamify something, blah, blah, blah. So a data engineer might take this part over here on the payment side, might build some sort of infrastructure so that the person creating the front end of DoorDash will be able to gather that data, do an analysis, put it in the front of their page, et cetera. And so fundamentally, a data engineer is gonna work with SQL, with AWS cloud or some sort of cloud, with data pipelines, with data modeling, all of these concepts, maybe Python, if you've heard of Python. So they're a little more code heavy. I would say 30% of the day is more code as opposed to uh, cybersecurity is not necessarily as much code, but it is a lot more management. So what are the similarities between the two roles? We do believe that a lot of the similarities have to do with how you go about your day. A lot of analytical thinking, a lot of engineering, a lot of thinking like what could go wrong, what could go right. Let's architect both systems. There's a lot of similarities because again, at the end of the day, you are working with data in both cases. Another similarity is just automation, right? So cybersecurity, you have to automate. It has to be working 24 seven. Data engineering, similarly, you wanna to use tools that automate and alert you when something goes wrong. Now. 
I think that some of the biggest differences is going to be within the working environment, the day to day, because a data engineer might meet with a stakeholder one, two hours a day, and then the rest of the time they might be coding, et cetera, until they finish a project or can deliver it to the rest of the team. Cybersecurity, however, is a lot more intense and it's intense in the sense that you have to constantly be checking whether you can get hacked. You have to constantly be monitoring whether your systems are up to date because there is going to be a lot of pressure on you from management and IT and tech teams that say, hey, are we sure this is secure? Are we sure there it goes out to launch, et cetera? And so cybersecurity is one of those things that sometimes people forget you're there until something goes wrong and then it is very much your fault. So that is one of the downsides to cybersecurity, whereas data engineers are expected to deliver projects on a more regular basis uh, while also maybe getting less credit when something does get built because data engineers are kind of in the background. In terms of the growth of both cybersecurity and data engineering, both have gone up over the past couple of years. Both are projected to go up significantly over the next couple of years. Cybersecurity is projected to grow by 1.3x over the next four years data engineering by 2x over the next four years. So expected to double. The reason data engineering is expected to grow twice as much is just because AI has grown so fast and significantly over the last couple of years that we need the data infrastructure for AI and machine learning and data scientists to actually do their job on top of the infrastructure that data engineers are going to build. Again, as all of this gets built out, Cybersecurity is going to be needed in all of those things as well. In conclusion, Data Engineer Academy is obviously a little biased as to which one you should do, but I do think that both fields have their own pros and benefits. If you want a more risky environment, I think cybersecurity is for you. If you want something that you can work on in the background, but maybe also work on with different teams and cross collaborate, data engineering is probably for you. If you want to code just a little bit, 20, 30, 40% of your day, Data engineering is there. If you don't want to code, but you want to manage, you know, attackers and make sure everything is bolted nicely, uh, cybersecurity might be for you. But either way, if you are interested in data engineering and maybe are curious, hey, how does, you know, building something like this work? Click on this video over here to watch some Snowflake stuff and maybe see if it is for you. And by the way, we also have an entirely free SQL tutorial. If you click on the link below and go to our website at dataengineeracademy.com and maybe test out, hey, this is actually for me. Maybe you already know some code yourself. So again, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, do whatever you got to do. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.